Hello guys, and welcome back to another cold stream. On today's stream, survey time! That's right, the Duelist Cup survey is here, and of course, we gotta talk about it. Uh, <clears throat> we're also gonna talk about, as you can tell by the title and the thumbnail, the Duelist Cup, meme review, all sorts of fun stuff like that, uh, and the ban list. Because obviously, like right after, I mean, to be fair, a ban list happens every month basically in master duel but when it comes to the duelist cup ban list they tend to do a lot more when it comes to a ban list they tend to hit more cards they tend to actually start hitting like urs and srs it tends to be um so there's that <clears throat> do i think what what do i think of the length of the event it's too long it's way too long it's always been too long it's just too long for a tournament it just does not make sense thank you <clears throat> i want more stun and lab hits Lab, why? Lab is not... Like, lab is okay. But it's not, like, doing anything. Stun, understandable. If we're, if you're talking about lab, are you talking about, like, floodgates? Because that... Or are you talking about, like, oh, like, limit big welcome? Because those are two very different things. Hitting floodgates... Yes. Lab because of new support. First of all, if you're thinking that you should have a lab limitation because of the new support, that's just not going to happen. They're not going to limit cards. Unless it's Ku Clock, which they might do. But other than that, to me, that wouldn't make sense from Konami's perspective to limit cards of a deck that you want people to play. Wouldn't you want to make it the best deck? The only reason you would limit cards is if you already know it's going to be tier 0. Like they did with Sprite, which wasn't tier 0 in any capacity, or what they did with Tier Limit, which was. So, it doesn't really make sense to limit Lab. They're probably going to do that. You're probably going to get your wish, but Lab is not that strong. It may seem that way, but it's not. Do we enjoy dueling in the Duelist Cup? No. Were you satisfied with the event exclusive missions? No. Were you satisfied with the dual level rewards in the first stage? No. Were you satisfied with the ranking rewards in the second stage? No. Um, would you say that you were satisfied or dissatisfied with the overall experience? Dissatisfied. Uh, please tell us your goals for participating in the Duelist Cup, if any. Um, <clears throat> my goal was to make it through the first stage and to get season points. Um... Uh, tell us what you think about a Duelist Cup. I love battling it out against strong players. I do. I find it very enjoyable. That is not what the Duelist Cup does, though. Should be really cool if that happened. Please, just let me... Uh, anyway, it's fine. It's fine. Uh, I enjoy the challenge of trying to reach my goals. Sure. I play because I want to earn rewards. Let's be honest with ourselves. Um, please. Ban. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, let... Us look at the opponents decks or deck lists in stage one. I need to know what my opponent is cooking. <clears throat> also, ban. Maxi. Thank you. Oh, sorry. Hold on. No. Ban Maxi. There we go. <clears throat> we did it. How am I doing today? I'm doing all right. I will settle for lab flood hits, like power sinkhole band. Oh, sinkstone. Where, where was lab playing that? Did my going second lab deck go well? Um, I mean, I've been playing it. It's been fun. <clears throat> What's up, Captain? Never. I guess they don't want people cooking too much. People will cook more if you don't allow them to see other people's decks. Great news. Uh, 8,356 gems. As well as absolutely proud of myself as coming uh, very far in Master Duel. I'm glad you're doing great with your gems, Maurice. That is quite impressive. Who is playing Power Sync? 
That is a great question. I don't know. I don't know if this is like a tech that I missed because I didn't play in the event like at all. That is like a real possibility. Um, but like, I don't know. I that's that's the thing. I don't know, nor do I care, because that's the thing that I just haven't seen. It makes sense. I would imagine people would play it. Ryan, way to go, Ryan. Is that Ryan? You? No shot. It's the same Ryan. Holy shit! It is. Nah, no way he did it again. The GOAT! <laughs> he's too good. He's too fucking good. <laughs> Chat, he's too good. That's crazy. Bro just said, nah, I'd win. And then he did! Guess what he was playing? If it was not lab, I'm gonna be sad. Please tell me it was lab. There's no shot it was. Why should it be like Zodiac or something silly? It was lab? Yeah. Yeah! I fucking knew it! Let's go! I, I... I... Yeah, I think lab in a best of one is so very strong. But even with that being said... It's also Ryan. Like... He also played Zodiac. I made that look killer. I think it's just Ryan. I think he's just the GOAT. When it comes to... When it comes to these... Nah. When it comes to... Duelist Cups... It... It's... Ryan you or bust. Eighty-four thousand. Damn, dude, that's crazy. I played for two hours and got tired. <laughs> I was like, nah, I'm good. <laughs> does he have replays? He does. Sick dude. He has a self-report profile. To be fair, it didn't matter. I think he played like, I'm trying to think, no, did he play Pearly? Yeah, he played the Pearly deck as well in the last one. <clears throat> no! No, by Rainbow. No! Tragic. Bro said, nah. This is an asset? What are you talking about? This hand is insane. Caesar! David Carnet. Oh, he went to the end phase to search. Cute. Cute. Pop, pop, pop. Just relaxing on my bed. Nice. He won it with Dragon League. That's what it was. You're right. That's what it was. It was Dargan. What are we searching? This Niven hand is so funny. Because it's, it's so bad. Are we just burning? No, we drew a card. <clears throat> We're hoping to draw into Ash, I would imagine. We're making Phoenix here? Oh, oh, I see why we make Phoenix here. we just scale up the five rainbow magician? Is that like a possibility? Oh, we can pitch it. Yeah. And then, yeah. Wow. It's literally just floodgate. I will, I, I will say, yeah, when it comes to floodgates, yeah, I'm totally down with banning floodgates. If we're actually hitting lab cards, that is where I'm like, no, there's no reason to hit a lab card. No lab card is the issue. Obviously, like in this incident, five rainbow magician. Um, things like rivalry, things like Gozen, things like all of these like actual problem cards. Absolutely. What are the labyrinth cards doing here that are a problem? Even with the new support, what are they going to do? So mad they put Arius into Master Duel before Noir. That is comedy. <clears throat> Five Rainbow is a legacy pack. Needs a ban. I, yeah, I'll agree with that. I am not a fan of any of the, like, floodgates in Master Duel right now. Like, um, Patch of Cephalo should be banned. Uh, Five Rainbow should be banned. All of, like, the standard floodgates that you think about, Rivalry goes in, Summon Limit, 
there can be only one, etc. Should all just be banned. They're not good for best of ones. Because even limited to one. Because if they show up, it does not matter. You do not have a second or third game to potentially like play around those consistency hits. So because of that, it's just like if they show up, you still just lose to them. So it feels terrible to play against. And they're not even that like good to play. So I would I would love to see bans on them. I'll take limitations. Limitations does something. What does Eperly Noir do? Uh, it allows you. It allows you to, if you activate the effect of your quick play, you can set a. I think I, I you mostly just set Yeep off of it, uh, which is really really nice, and it allows you to tag out with uh, Sleepy Memory into a rank monster, which then you can be used to go into Noir. Um, but it's mostly used to get Yeep into rotation. It's pretty good. Uh, I say hit Snake Eye cards. They're likely not going to do that. Because they're, like, brand new and still in the deck. Or in the draw. I'm sorry, what the fuck? What did we just tribute set? What is happening? Treasure! Is this a time limit win? What the hell happened? Oh no, they just surrendered. What? What is going on? What? Huh? Wah. Wah. Huh? Bro, I... My brain hurts. Pen furniture, they discard and set. They didn't draw the out. I mean, true. True. I I wanted to know what they tribute set though. I needed I needed to know. Uh huh. Oh, look, it's loud. Mirror match. Pog. Dude, I love this mirror match. <clears throat> I don't want to. I don't want to see super heavy samurai hits, but calamity can easily get banned. True. Comedy. <clears throat> yeah! Yeah, baby! <laughs> I hate it here. Uh, bait even? Yeah, why not? Oh. Called by when you don't have the card is so good. Pitch Garuro. Um, why don't Pitch Entis there? I feel like Pitch Entis is a thousand percent the play. Yeah? Am I wrong? I... Said it, wait. That's so smart. It's just a free set card. Yesterday was rough, today is slightly better. Nice. Bro, activate a card effect, please! Do something. No shot this was the play. Send to Entis, pop a card. Called by. We're gonna say no to that. Oh, no, 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 this is special, and then we're bouncing. Comedy, dude. How is this game still going? What is happening? Bro, Drew Nib. Set Maxi. Activate. Welcome Lab. Get chain blocked. Doofus. Very smart. Just, like, set a card. So they can't target you. Or destroy you. Normal summon Maxi. What is happening? Imperm! Why are we activating Imperm? Bro, what? Nah. I guess they really needed that revive, didn't they? What is this echo? This has to be another imperm, right? Gotta be.
Uh huh, Shane. Yes. Set an imperm. Sure. Out comes Lady. Bounce. Just kidding. Destroy it. Just said, get that shit off my field. We're not even activating the maxis. We're just normal summoning them. What is happening? <laughs> this game is nonsense. <laughs> During the end phase! Oh! They had a roach. Out comes Lady. Bounce Lovely. Or sorry, other way around. Out comes Lovely. Bounce Lady. Set a card. Pop. Wait, what did we pop? We just pop up. Oh, we popped a welcome. Infirm on the Ariana. Sure. Did not chain. We didn't chain the lady. Did we not? Are we out of targets? No. Most assuredly not. Yeah? Okay, we are out of targets. There's no shot we are just not chaining lady there. Yep. 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 No, he only plays one punishment? Of course he only plays one punishment. No, hold on, wait. No, he must have a big welcome. He just chose not to chain there? What is happening? I'm losing my mind. I... What happened? How did... How... How did... What? <laughs> oh, right. Oh, right. Lovely didn't allow it. You're right. My bad. You're right, you're right, you're right. But no, couldn't he have changed to the activation of the, the summon? Right? He could have changed to, like, welcome which summoned it? No, what summoned it? How did he get it onto the field? He got it onto the field through big welcome, right? And and the guy didn't change to the big one? Maybe I'm going crazy. I'd have to watch that again. I forgot what happened. My brain hurts. Alright, cool. Cool. Well, that happened. Uh, Alright, let's talk about new stuff. Kind of. Um, <clears throat> that being, we're, well, we're going to go over the Duelist Cup. But we're also going to go over DK Meta Weekly, because I always find it funny looking at these. Uh, and then we're going to do new cards that are coming out, OCG ban list, and then meme review. And then we'll play uh, some Yu-Gi-Oh, maybe. Who knows? Who knows? Maybe we won't. Maybe we'll just die. Uh, Alright, DK Meta Weekly 105. This happened, I think, during the Duelist Cup. Which is kind of interesting, because it was published yesterday, which was during the Duelist Cup. So, I think they do it normally on Saturdays. Kind of weird. Um, beside the point, though, maybe maybe no one cared about the Duelist Cup, which, honestly, I didn't. Top 16 breakdown is... <sighs> tragic. This is why I wanted to talk about this. Mathmech! Mathmech! Oh, no! You hate to see it. Um, it's Math Mech, Snake Eye, Bestial Runic. OCG ban list is real, not a joke for April Fool. Uh, yes. Who knows? Bestial Runic Lab, Dino Pearly Sprite Super Heavy Samurai Tier Vanquish Soul. Alright. Oh, and guess who won? It's Mathmec. Whoa, that's crazy. Yeah, those limitations to Mathmec really helped. Please just ban Circular. Please, Konami. Please. Put it to one. Ban it. Do something. Get rid of this card. Please? Thanks. <clears throat> uh, Lab. Hooray. This is like the worst lab list I've ever seen. What is happening here? How, how did... Alright, cool. Bro was playing three nib. What? No. That, huh? Okay, no, it's fine. it's fine. It's fine, don't think about it. Because if you do, it'll cause a stroke. Dino? Dino? Got top four. Lab. With labyrinth setup. All right, we're done. We're done looking at these lists. We're we're just gonna be done. We're gonna be done. We're gonna be done looking at that. This is funny. Yeah, cool. Mathematic one. I don't know. These are basically just locals at this point, and they're so funny every time. Every time I look at them, I'm just like, 
yeah, this is about what I would expect at a local. This is what I play at locals. <laughs> Setup goes brazy in NR. True, in NR. How's it going? Uh, are there any band? Wait, is there any band on Snake Eye? What do you mean? Are there, like, bands on Snake Eye? I don't, I don't know. Not yet. Uh, I want to talk about the win streaks as well. Because I wanted to see if there was anything interesting. And so far... Well, I mean... I don't know. So this is stage two win streaks, which is five plus win streaks, which, I mean, sometimes the luck is with you and you get uh, five wins in a row with Sword Soul. It happens, not to me. I'm not good enough for that. Imagine calling this Tech Guinness. Bro, this is as much Tech Guinness as I am fucking Asian. That's just not true. It's just not an accurate statement. What's up, Caronte? How's it going? This pie chart is so random. True. Was that an element burst in the second lab list? Honestly, I I stopped looking for a, a reason. I hate this card. I hate this card. I don't like it. Curse you, nature. Yeah. Snake. Oh, yeah, it is. Snake guy. Vanquish Soul Stun! Oh, my favorite. And Chainburn. Bro got a five win streak with Chainburn? Bro, how are we losing to Chainburn? Holy shit. You can actually do the Jeff Leonard Exodia FTK. I didn't even think about that. You got a five win streak with this. That's crazy. Awesome. Elemental Burst can be used with Transaction for no cost. I don't know what Elemental Burst is, but okay. There's 12 TG cards. There's nine more TG cards in that deck than Melfi cards in most Melfi Sprite decks. Okay, calling that Melfi Sprite is also very funny. <laughs> We know of this due to Junk Collector. Who has a copy a trap effect too. What? What are you talking about? Yo! Earth Machine! Oh, cool. Literally let's try. Why are we playing Dark Ruler? Who is playing Dark Ruler right now? Why are we playing this card? We're not playing Imperm, but we're playing... It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I'm just gonna have a stroke. On my own. It's fine. Everything else from this list, I think, is great. No, wait, hold on. No, wait, hold on. I lied to you. I'm a liar. Forget everything I said. I didn't actually look at this list. What is happening in this extra deck? This can't be the right extra deck. Oh, it's the same one as this one. This is not the right extra deck. Okay, cool. I was about to panic. I was like... No shot this was the extra deck. <laughs> I was like, how are we making any of these? <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, I got thoroughly scared. I was like, oh, this deck list is fine, except for these two. These feel like they could be much better cards. And then I looked down and I was like, no, never mind. This is terrible. No, it's a typo. We're fine. We're fine. Literally, Scry Brigade players are not that bad. Trust. Trust. <laughs> Galaxy Photon. Bro got a five win streak with Galaxy Photon. What? Did you get, like, your first five wins? You at, like, zero points and then you go up to 5,000? Yeah, probably. Let's be honest. I don't know how I feel about this list. And I hate that it's good. I may have to play this. I may have to play this list. <laughs> oh. Tear! Wait. Why are we playing Luna Lights? Why are we playing Kagatsuchi? What? what? We're playing three Trivi Karma, three Rainbow Bridge? Wait, hold on. Hold on. I'm having a stroke. Sorry. What's happening? What is happening in this deck list? The Kagatsuchi is for the Luna Lights? 
yeah, clearly. Why? Okay, don't think about it. I I don't get it. I don't get it. I just don't get it. That's it. It's probably great. I trust. It's really good. I promise. 60 card, Mathmac. I know this is that this says Code Talker. It's not Code Talker, it's Mathmac. There is a single circular, therefore it's Mathmac. Right? That's how this works. Why not make the Luna Light prize card? It does I I get what it does. I'm not... It's fine. It's... It's fine. I... I got more confused. I basically said Kagasuchi and then was like, Oh, no, 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 this one's good. But then my brain just stopped working because that was when I saw the DBL Star stuff and I was like, wait a second. Hold on. <clears throat> anyway. Mana, hooray. Dogma. Amazement? What? Okay. 60 cards, by the way. Why are you playing so many 2 What? Huh? I don't know how this deck plays. Why are we playing... Oh. Fun. Infernoid? Why are there two of you? Bro, can we ban grass, please? Please! The fact that it's still at two in the OCG is mind blowing. Please, can we just that that that's the card I want banned. More so than anything right now, that is the card that I want banned. Actually, I'm lying to you. I want circular banned more, and then Patchocephalo, and then Grass, in that order. Um, but Grass is not fun to play against. I've never had a fun duel against Grass. Never, not once. Maxi goes without saying. Honestly, no. It's those three in that order. I Maxi, I've gotten used to it at this point that I just like whatever. Obviously it's stupid. I can't mess with that. I can. I can. There is a reality where circular gets banned. There's not a reality where math ma or uh, Maxi gets banned. Sneaky sneaky rescue ace. Why? What? Why? It's fine. Adagnister, Snake Eye, Different Desvia. Man, these decks are terrible. How did we get win streaks with these? That's crazy. All right. Well, we're gonna move on. Any idea what they could ban? What do you mean? Really, he suffers from early stages of Stockholm Syndrome? Alright. So, there are expected cards, which are likely to show up in the next pack, that I do want to talk about. Limit Fossil Dino, Hope, ban it. Ban his ass! Get him out of here! I don't want him at one! If he's at one, he can still fuck me up. And I don't like it. I don't like it! I don't know, no. Get him out of here. King Calamity is a great target for Manning. True, but it's also a UR, so it's not gonna happen. And it's also, you know, in a maxi format, so Konami's gonna be like, eh, it's fine. And then have a brain aneurysm. So, first and foremost, Labyrinth card. Arius, the Labyrinth Butler. If you don't know what this card does, let me explain it to you. During the main phase, you can set this card from your hand or field to the graveyard. Uh, yeah, hand or field to the graveyard. From your hand, either special summon a lab monster or set a normal trap. That set card can be activated this turn. Fantastic. You're basically pitching this card in order to set a trap from your hand or special summon something like an Aria, uh, Ariana or something along those lines. It's fairly decent. It's not insane. However, the second effect is what really makes this actually very good. When your opponent activates a card or effect in response to the activation of your Labyrinth card or effect, except itself, or your normal trap or card or effect while this card is in your grave you can special summon this card which means that now if you go activate the effect of Arius, activate the effect of your big welcome or your welcome labyrinth or your Ariana and your opponent goes no no stop that you get to go cool I'm going to bring this guy back and then I'm just going to do it again 
on your next turn and cause more issues, right? So it's basically Kuklok 2.0, which is pretty nice. That's all. It's just it's it's just another Kuklok. It's slightly worse than Kuklok, I would say. I think Kuklok's slightly better, but they kind of do the same thing. And notably, it's a level 6 Fiend, which is very nice for the Unchained support, which we're getting, which are all level 6s. Now we'll talk about uh, what the Unchains do in a second. Um, but they're all level 6... Well, the, the two important ones, which are Shivara and Shiyama, are two level 6s, um, which are pretty easy to get out. And they're Fiends, which paired with Lab is pretty nice, and it gives you access to... Uh, where is it? A DD... Is, is it DDD? Is Arius a 3 of? Yes. In most lists. Yes, it's also Chaos Angel. It it being a 6 is very, very nice. Um... I wave King Caesar. Yes, thank you. Where is he? There he is. There he is. Oh, sorry. Um, high wave King Caesar. Wave high King Caesar. They should switch that. It should be high. It should be wave. It should be high wave King Caesar. High, high King wave Caesar. Who the fuck cares? <laughs> this guy. When a spell trap card or a monster effect is activated, that includes the effect to special summon a monster. Quick effect, detach card. Uh, detach material from this card, negate the activation, and if you do destroy that card, then you can make one other DD monster, yada yada, doesn't matter. Um, if this card is sent from the field to the grave, you can add a dark contract from your deck to your hand. Notably, there's no once per turn on this effect, meaning it's two negates of a special summon. A very, very good effect to have paired with level sixes, and more specifically, level six fiends that would potentially lock you into fiends. Now, let's actually talk about Shivara and Shiyama. Both of these cards are very nice, they're very cool, they're very awesome, and uh, they're gonna make Unchained pretty decent. However, notably, unlike in the TCG, where currently Sh Shivara is limited to one because Unchained was the best deck, unlike in the TCG, in Master Duel, I do not expect Unchained as a solely, as just Unchained, I should say, to be a top tier deck. And the reason for this is because Maxi exists. And you have to take that into consideration. First of all, it's a best of one, which really does hurt Unchained. I think uh, Unchained is one of the decks that plays very well with having a side deck and having games two and three to kind of assist it and uh, help it make its boards and make its um, uh, choices a little bit better. However, in the OCG, Unchained never really did anything unless it was paired with Lab. Now, both of these paired together is still pretty good, and I do think it'll be a top-tier strategy and will allow you to basically have another thing to do if your opponent doesn't max you, which is pretty cool. But will a sec alone be top-tier? Maybe. Probably not, though, because of maxi. However, what these cards do, if you know what the Unchanged cards do, they special summon guys due to popping effects. They have traps and stuff like that that interact uh, through like card destruction and specifically card destruction of their own cards, which is very nice. Like, their set cards, special summon, um, and, and stuff like that. Uh, if they're destroyed. So, during the main phase, if this card is in your hand, quick effect, you can target one fiend or a face-down card you control, destroy it, and special summon this card. But, while it is face-up in the monster zone, you cannot special summon monsters except for fiends. Not that big of a deal, because everything is, is a fiend, especially in the lab, as well as in this. Not that big of a deal. If this card is sent to the graveyard, you can set an unchained spell trap directly from your deck which is also very powerful. What this does is it allows you to set either of your unchained traps, which are very, very strong. Uh, unchained. Let me let me look them up. I'd be happy if unchained becomes tier. Me too. It's a very fun deck to play. I played it a little. It's very in. Uh, it's very fun. I, it's super cool in the way that it interacts and the way that it plays. But it is a mid-range deck that has to special summon a whole lot, which is not very good in a maxi format. Tragic. Uh, so notably, you're setting either Abominable Chamber of Unchained or Escape. Escape is a card destruction. You flip it up, target an Unchained, and a card on the field, destroy both. You just pop two. Or 
You can go Abominable Chamber of the Unchained, which can special summon an Unchained from Hand or Grave. However, both of them have the same effect where if they are if the set card is destroyed, you can special summon an Unchained monster from your deck. Hard once per turns uh, on each of the effects. Okay? But basically this means Shavara, if you get it off of the field, can set another target for another Shavara, which is very, very cool. On top of that, we have Shiyama, which can target a card you control and destroy it. Then you can destroy one spell or trap card on the field. Now this is just in on the field effect however if it's in the grave you can target a fiend monster or a face down card you control destroy it and then special summon this card uh but place it on the bottom of the deck when it leaves the field now notably if you exe someone with this it loses that like go to the bottom of the deck so you could just put it back into the graveyard so that's why going into an exe like the ddd is very useful as an Unchained player, I'm very excited. Uh, I'm excited for you, and I'm excited myself as well. I, I'm i excited for Unchained. I'm expecting it to be... I have low expectations for it, and I'm absolutely going to play it a thousand percent. It's going to be super fun, and it's going to be really bad. And play into Maxi a whole lot. Um, if this card... Uh, sorry. We have Yama, which is the new Link 2, which is just any two Fiend monsters. Which means... Uh, who is it? Um... Tour Guide of the Underworld is going to be an insane starter. You normal summon it, you special summon another fiend, and you're off to the races. If this card is special summoned, you can add an unchained monster from your deck or grave to your hand, adding Shiyama or Shibara. Really good. Or you could add a different one if you need to be. Um, and then on top of that, if a card you control is destroyed by battle or card effect while this card is in your graveyard, you can banish this card to special summon a fiend monster from your hand or grave. Then you can destroy a card you control. Now, notably, this would trigger things like Shavara, Shiyama, the set traps, etc. to special summon another guy, which is very, very nice. And it allows you to get into your rank 6 pretty efficiently because it searches out the guy and then gives you a target to pop, which then, while having the card in the grave, is also advantage. Um, just puts that body onto your field, which is very, very useful. Shiyama, the blue Beatrice and Caesar material. Yep. <laughs> The best target is normally Fiendish Rhino. Um, because I believe Fiendish Rhino also... Uh, Fiendish... I believe it also just, like, special summons a guy. Fiend monsters you control uh, cannot be destroyed by battle or card effect. Uh, and then if this card is sent to the grave, you can send a Fiend monster from your deck to the grave. Except itself. So there you go. Um, so you just link it off, and then you activate the effect, and you send, and you get a, you get a chain block your... Um, your Yama, which also allows you to go for uh, Shiyama. You can send the Shiyama to the grave. Special summon that guy from the grave immediately, which is uh, also really nice. But yeah, Rhino is Rhino is generally the target uh, for most of the Underworld or um, Tour Guide combos. I think most of the time people just summon the Rhino because it just happens to be the best one. It's the best level 3 fiend. Anyway, so with those two, pretty good. Kind of exciting. I don't think... I think Lab's already really good. I think it's going to be one of the best decks, if not the best deck, the best deck um, in Master Duel with the new support. Uh, I don't think it's going to be far and away the best deck, but it'll definitely be good. Um, with the Unchained stuff, it might do a little bit more. Unchained as its own probably won't be all that crazy. And then we have another deck, which is Battling Boxer, which is here, living its best life. I'm not going to read these cards because these cards don't really matter for the metagame besides one which i believe is dempsey uh which just requires two level four monsters which is already insane it's also a fire which is notable um if this card is special summoned you can take a level four or lower fire warrior monster or battling boxer spell trap from your deck and either add it to your hand or send it to the grave now keep that in mind it's any level four or lower fire warrior monster so works pretty well with like Infernoble or any other deck that may want to utilize that effect which is fairly decent um because it either adds it to the hand or sends it to the grave which is pretty nice then you can also quick effect detach uh a material from a monster you control and if you do apply this effect your opponent cannot target battling box or monsters you control with card effects for the rest of this turn which is not really that big of a deal but if you need to potentially detach a material it's pretty nice but yeah fairly decent effect and a fairly generic monster but that's kind of it in terms of the newest set, um, or at least what we are likely to be receiving. Now, I would love to see the Pearly, E Pearly Noir. That'd be great. I don't know why Konami hasn't given us that. I like Pearly. Do you like Pearly? You probably don't, let's be honest with ourselves. But Pearly's cool, so I'd love to see that. 
Could work with Rescue Ace. Yep. It could. Do you think they will pre-hit Lab before Aureus and Unchained? Maybe? Mostly because of the Duelist Cup it doing well. I'm expecting some sort of limitations to Lab, but maybe not the actual Lab cards themselves. Probably Ku Clock is the limitation that I would expect to see, and then limitations or bans of bannings of Floodgates. So like um, Five Rainbow Magician, uh, Skill Drain, etc. Ignites could also use it in theory. Yeah, but then you'd have to be playing Ignites. Ice Barrier Support. I didn't even know there was any Ice Barrier Support. Okay, let's real quick talk about OCG ban list. Now, if you don't know, the OCG is getting a new ban list. And this is the ban list. And it's a joke. <laughs> it's it's so tragic. What about Vanquish Soul? What about it? If you could make a rank four, I mean, you technically could use it in Vanquish Soul. I just don't think it'd be very useful. But the OCG is um, doing some stuff. So first of all, limitations, they're all fine. This goes, this guy's going from band to one, sure, whatever, not that big of a deal. Uh, wanted is a good limitation, I think. Uh, I think it's probably one of the better ones. There can be only one, also a good limitation. Then we have the semi-limitations, which is where things get very funny. Now, x was previously at three, and now it's going to two. What does this do? Uh, Kaiser Colosseum is currently used in one of the biggest decks in the metagame, which is Tenpai Dragon. Basically, every Tenpai Dragon deck is playing Kaiser Colosseum, because you could literally just summon a guy, and then be like, cool, out my bungus. Stupid. Um, now you have to go through the battle phase, which is not very fun. Um, so basically every single one of those decks is playing it. So of course, instead of banning it or doing anything reasonable, they put it to two because the OCG hates its players. Snake Eye Ash, sure. Kieran, don't know why we're doing this. Most of the player base was already playing two of this card. This does nothing. Okay. SP Little Knight. I have not seen a deck list play more than one of this card in a long time. I have no idea why this is semi-limited. This is... I swear this is like a fat finger from one of the employees. They were just like, they were going to put it to one and then they just missed and clicked two and then they shipped it off and they didn't think about it. That has to be the reason. I cannot think of another reason as to why this card would ever go to two. This is so funny. It hurts my brain trying to think about any other excuse as to why this card is at two. Moving on. Tenpai has a million non-engine that can replace Kaiser. Oh yes, absolutely. Uh, Ib, Ib, uh, yeah, this card can go to three, and I think it wouldn't change anything. If it, if it was at one, it, no one is playing more than one. That's fine. That's a new change. All of these are unlimits as well. Um, Summon Source, uh, Summon Source got a Errata, which uh, you could read up here. Um, the Errata is kind of interesting. It basically just means that you're locked out of... It, it's the exact same as the old text, um, but now you're locked out of specifically... Um, summoning any other type. So you have to summon the type that you specifically summon off of Summon Sword. So there are very few decks that could use this. I thought of Cybers. Someone else mentioned Dragons can use this. So like Dragon Link. But other than that, it's okay. It, it literally does the exact same thing. It's just that it now locks you. So I don't know. This could cause issues. I still feel like this could cause issues. Um, it could not. I don't know. It's also one whole effect. Oh, it's not two effects now? Oh, okay. Well, I mean, that still doesn't really change much. Dempsey doesn't really mean anything for Master Duel Vanquish Soul. True. You can ash the Floodgate the opponent gives you. That's the difference. Ah, is that now you can actually, like, interact with that? Because I think... Yeah. I think that's the only difference. Because, like, you can still interact with it in basically every other capacity. It's just now that it's also susceptible to Ash. Because it searches, right? Or it special summons from deck. Yeah. Um, so, like, previously, you'd be able to go special summon a Nightmare Corruptor Ibli to your opponent's zone, which locks them. And then it also turns off things like evenly matched in Impermanent Lightning Storm and what have you. 
And then you could just like special summon the cybers from your deck. There you go. Splash Mage exists already. Yeah, but the difference is this summons from deck. So, you know. But I was also thinking of like what could actually abuse the fact that it summons from deck and then locks you into a specific type and it's like, eh, there's not really much, right? Um, so I think I think the limitations to summon sword actually do hurt it and make it not unreasonable. Um, so there's that. And then all of the other lim unlimitations are whatever's. But there you go. There you go. There's the OCG ban list. Now, when it comes to the OCG ban list, Notably in the OCG, Snake Eye is not as big as it is in the TCG. And the main reason is because, like, genuinely Maxi does matter, right? So playing around Maxi or having decks that can play around Maxi, as we see with, like, Brandon, Centurion, Chimera, uh, even Melodious and stuff like that, but most notably Tenpai Dragon, uh, being able to play around Maxi, being able to play around Nibiru really helps a lot of these other decks. Who you'll also see with Fire King lists, which... Uh, there's not a Fire King list here, um, but I can show you a Fire King list here, hopefully. A Fire King Snake Eye list, I should say. Um, we can see that they're playing, like, Skyburn um, and, and stuff like that, oftentimes. Uh, they're playing sometimes three Kirin. But this is just so that they are more likely to have that out through Maxi, right? So, like, if you go, you know, normal summon... Snake Eye Ash, right? And your opponent goes Chain Max C. You can go cool, you know, grab, you know, do the line, grab this guy, go this guy, activate effect, special summon Ponix, and then Ponix can search a thing. And like, sure, you give your opponent two specials, but like, now you have a pop and maybe an additional thing, right? So it's just kind of like that extra layer to kind of play around Maxi. I don't know if that's necessarily the best option, but it is an option. Um, so there's that. But yeah, all in all, I think that the deck did receive a good hit. And specifically when it comes to Snake Eye, you kind of do have to hit the consistency. Because there's not really like an end board outside of, I don't know, you could like hit Appalosa or Zelantis maybe. And that would do something. You could maybe ban Promethean. And that might do something. But there you go. Um, yeah. Anyway, I, I think in the OCG it's a lot better, though. It's still it's still very strong, and it does need a nerf, but I think this brings it in line with, like, Voice of the Voice and Tenpai. And stuff like that. You would hit Original Sin? Why? That sounds like a terrible idea. That entirely cuts off the Diabell Star stuff from the Snake Eye stuff. And prevents, like, the one thing that makes Snake Eye interesting. Okay, uh, let's move on to meme review. Meme review. Hooray. Uh, so immediately this is going to start off terribly because it's Farfa. It's, it, it's literally just Farfa. Let's, um, all right, let's see how this goes. Fairy Kings, Arius, and Unchained can't come soon enough. I don't want to be, I don't want to even touch ranked with a 10-foot pull. Everyone on ranked is either playing... It techs out the teeth or infinite gas snake guys. When I accidentally use personality A with friend group B, popped any babies lately? What? How was the party? Horrible. What is? Farfa. What is happening? Okay. New strategy. Pretend to be using Snake Eyes to see if the opponent instant surrenders. I own zero Snake Eye cards. Right my hand.
All right, this one's funny. <laughs> Damn it, that one's good. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> Oh, 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 that's, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Why is reversal quiz there? <laughs> it's the question mark. <laughs> now you do it. Oh, it, no, it's very clearly just a question mark. Oh, that's, oh, that's, yeah, okay. All right, that one got me. Looks aren't everything, Mad Max. What is- what? Huh? What the fuck is this meme? He has a thousand attack. Wow, that's crazy. Anyway, he's also a fucking Link- what? what? Huh? Why are the live twins here? I'm so confused. Is this a reference to something? This has to be a reference that I'm just not getting. I get that it's a penis joke. It's just not funny. They just keep coming. Me trying to play the game. My opponent's hand. Ash. Bro, you chose the wrong artwork. <clears throat> That's quite small. Is that the... Is that actually the reference? If that's it... The, oh, I... I So the reference was that it was a, uh, uh, nonsense and didn't make any sense at all. And now it just makes me confused. Everyone's favorite almost tier one deck. It'll be the next best, it'll be the next best deck post ban list. TR gets rid of the deck's choke points. Oh, transaction rollback. We still have one new lab servant left. It's going to be so broken when this new trap comes out. The deck doesn't even need EEV anymore. Give me liberty, give me fire, big welcome, better resolve, or I retire. If and when, but never is. Huh? Zero YCS wins. Yeah. Bro, what the fuck is this? <sighs> we had such high highs. We had like an actual good meme, and now I'm just sad. I have not won a single game off of EEV since last year. Same. Also, who the fuck says zero dedicated pilots? Where are you getting your information? <sighs> if only they knew. I wish to be irresistible to men. Poof. I've seen this meme before, by the way. <clears throat> this is getting out of hand. Konami login idea. Select all squares with interruptions. Yeah, and? What? Bro. If there are none, click skip. I get it. It's not funny, but I get it. <sighs> uh, if they didn't run so many staples, I wouldn't. I wouldn't be testing all of my decks on them. It's time to duel in solo mode. Beeps and boops and fear. Yeah. When someone auto scoops as soon as a, I play a runic spell, Earthbound runic, runic snake eye, runic sprite, runic nature, runic naturia, get him out of here. Get him out of here. Burn in hell. Look, you had four base decks and then you killed yourself by playing naturia. I mean, you uh, put yourself it in in the ground by playing runic naturia. You deserve people to scoop on you immediately. I would scoop on you immediately if I saw uh, a runic spell and then 
nature Rio spell followed up or card just in general currently stuck at level 19 on the duelist cup ladder good suffer master rule rng cooking up the most glorious going second hand i could ever ask for after i won the coin flip and chose first yes not clicking the maxi in hand tonight <laughs> true uh when i have a court today in an hour with a bitch ex-wife for custody of the kids, but the Duelist Cup is about to end and I'm dual level 19. We've all been wondering about this, so let's settle this once and for all. Both are covered... Yeah. Why Apple does not deserve a ban. Yeah, I saw that. Yep. Mm hmm. Yay, it's my turn. Never mind. It's our turn. Bro, what did Lab do on your on their turn anyway? They set four cards. What the fuck do you mean? Wait, hold on. Why is Gishki here? Why is Generator here? Bro, what? <laughs> yeah, that's exactly. This is I. <laughs> These memes are so bad. He didn't stand a chance. Some poor kid in Germany going to his locals with his blue eyes deck for fun. Joshua Schmidt, banish the top four cards of your deck, little bro. This man is terrifying. I w I will say him standing there is terrifying. Oh, you're right. It's not Gishki. Sorry, my bad. Who cares? It's one of the fish decks that I don't care about. Lol. Lamau, even. Baby Sarasaurus be like, I have my whole life ahead of me. No, you don't. The raptor is coming. It's not Joshua. It's jo Joshua? Joshua? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Shmimiti. <laughs> Who hates the Runix? I hate I hate it. Oh, I hate it. Oh, my brain. This is true brain rot. Doc. Society of Dimensional Barrier could stop Link Summons. What the? What the fuck? What is happening? What? I mean, I... Whatever. You can legally turn trap cards into spell cards. Your trap card. Yes. You can turn to... to, 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 to continuous spell i know you'll be a spell card you got that you're a spell card what the fuck what is this in reference who the fuck are you dude what is this what what card is this Angel statue of Azure Rune. Huh? Some trap monster. There you go. It summons itself as a fairy. Okay. I would have chose like embodiment of Apophis or literally like any of the ones that actually make sense. But okay. At least use the Eldritch trap. I... Yeah, that would have worked better. I mean, they technically go from trap to monster to spell, right? Because, like, they have to be a monster. But woman? True. It's the solemn trap monster? Wait, what? What the hell? The court date meme is hilarious. Why did I do this? Why did I, why, why? I didn't have to do that. We didn't have to do that. I could have, we could have skipped it this week. We could have just not. 
let's just ignore that entire week. There was nothing there. There was nothing there that was worth it. That was that one funny joke was not worth the absolute hell that the rest of it. Holy crap, that was so tragic. I hate it here. I hate it here, chat. Oh, normally, normally there's like a few good memes, or they're like not that bad. That was that was, I think, the worst week that we've had. And I don't think it's close. Typical Redditor L. True. There was just a litmus test checking who uses Twitter and who doesn't. Honestly, probably. Uh, let's let's play a Cybers. Let's play a Cybers deck. Yeah? Thoughts? I think that may have been the worst. I don't think I've had a worse experience or have felt as bad as I have after a meme review as I have this week. I, 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 I still can't comprehend the dais and the toilet meme. I... Uh, we're gonna play Salomon Great. We might also play Marinces. But we're playing Cybers, baby. We're playing cool Cybers. And then I put on my aviators that I have fucking somewhere. I have aviators. I, I have aviators. Trust. They're somewhere. Probably. Wait a second. Ah, there they are. See? <laughs> I can't see shit. <laughs> I do have them, though. <laughs> they do exist. Oh. <clears throat> I don't even feel disappointed. I've act I'm actively repulsed by this week's memes. Yeah, that I. It's actually just ruining my brain. <sighs> I am in pain. Pure cool now. Yes. The only two cool cyber stacks, tragically. <sighs> um, we could play. <laughs> we could cut the Diabel Star stuff. Who needs to see? Too cool. True. The Dipper Pines. Ayo. He's the goat. A Cyber's Spirit deck. Sounds like a terrible idea. Hmm. You know what? It's fine. Trust. Okay, I'm lying to you. It's not fine. It's not fine. I'm gonna cut all of the snake eye stuff. I don't think it's actually all that useful. Remember when I tried to build this? Oh, I'm like two cards away. That's comedy. That's not true. I'm just actually actually lying to you. Where is? Yo, we can play ninjas. <sighs> Do I play droll? <clears throat> The answer to that question is no. Um, I could play Diabell Star. To be fair, that is an option. What do I have, Booska? Good question. Uh, Diabell. Does that do anything for me? No. I could play like Jet Synchron stuff, which could maybe do something. 
Maybe I don't play that. Maybe. Maybe. I play more Salomon Great Names. Who's play like an extra Foxy? And we play Mirror? No, you Mirror. And we play Foul? And we play an extra Rage instead of a Triple. That sounds like a terrible idea. True. Okay, I'm cutting a Fox. Yeah. Maybe I'll just play Hand Traps instead of these. Mmm. Maybe I like cross out. Oh, I don't have imperm. Well, that's not allowed. That's not allowed. You know what? Yeah. Imperm. Do I have Valor? I play Valor. Sure. You know what? And cross out. Do I care about droll? <laughs> We're not going to draw a Flamberg. Trust. I'm still playing Baguska, and I have no idea how we're summoning it. True. <laughs> I swear, if this player is playing Rika, I'm I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna find them. Oh, a pretty good hand, and we don't immediately lose. Activate the Roach. Yeah! Yeah, this guy is a thousand percent playing Rika. Actually, no, they are probably playing Makanko. Bro, imagine. That's the case. Uh, Chinook 1. Imagine we just draw the Flomberg anyway. That would have been comedy. Bro was hiding his chains to Imperm Bailings. Man, I love these players. They're so stupid. It's actually so funny. Troll isn't real. True. <sighs> Gazelle. <clears throat> Wee. They see it as a Link 1 and they just panic. They're like, no! And then they fall over themselves. Send Rage. A little spinny. To be fair, if you didn't know what a deck do did, and you were just like, let me just quickly deal with this thing, would you not just hit the link one? Like, I feel like you just hit the link one. That, might, that makes the most sense, right? You're just like, yeah, let me just hit the link one. Um, Do you have the time to listen to me whine about nothing and everything all at once? Sometimes I give myself the creeps. Sometimes my mind plays tricks on me. It's all just adding up. I think I've had enough. Am I just paranoid? Or am I done? What am I doing? I'm being silly. Oh no, I'm adding ash back to my hand. True. <clears throat> I was worried about that. Uh, cool. Let's make... 
Promethean. Bring back Wolf. Make Amblo. Oh, wait, hold on. I'm lying to you. I'm a liar! Let's go these two into this guy. Into this guy. And grab this guy. Into. I should have used. Ah, I don't think it matters. Do I go Promethean? Yeah, I probably do, right? No, that doesn't do anything. Yep, I'll pass. What an incredible board. And then they lightning storm me and I cried. Nah, it's gonna be Lava Golem. Watch. Watch. Lava Golem. Saki Tama. Yeah? Sure. Oh, it's Exo Sister. Oh, okay. Flip up Rage. Response? Cool. Go away. <laughs> oh, burn in hell. Stares deeply into opponent's eyes. Flip rage, target, target sunlight wolf. Response. Do you have a response? You gonna you gonna activate Maxi? Please do. I will cry horrendously. I did Plateau with Sword Soul and got knocked down to gold. Feels bad. I think that's because of the season reset. Because you can't go from plat to gold. And they say, but I can't be targeted, and you laugh at them. <laughs> Who said I was targeting you? <clears throat> Please activate Ash Blossom. It'd be very funny. They did not. They did not. Do Pitch Foxy here? Yes. The answer to that question is yes. The answer to that question is a resounding... Uh-huh. Pitch Jack Jack War. Wee. No, I would not like to. Thank you. Um, I could go Splash Mage and do what with it? Good question. Or oh, give me Keatsol. Actually, that that. I was about to say that is the play. And while I do think it is the play, I think there's a slightly better play. Ever so slightly. Go away. It's mine. Uh, let's go Jack Jaguar. Let's put back the Foxy. We'll put back the Baylings. We'll summon this guy. And we'll go Sunlit Wolf. And we'll put the Flame. Uh, we'll put Foxy back into hand. We can go Splash Mage here, bring back. We could go Promethean, Promethean, bring back. We don't have a way of summoning another guy. We don't have a spell engrave. 
could go access code talker or trans code talker bring back a guy really just isn't like a great option for this I guess splash mage is like fairly decent but I need something for roar you know what let's do this Let's go Promethean. Let's go Promethean effect. Bring back this guy. Over here. Oh, I should've put him here. I'm stupid. I'm silly. And then we'll just go set one, set two, set a third, pass the turn. Or the meme reviews in the comments treating Samuel like a god made me laugh more. No shot. They think that that guy's memes are good. I. I don't. I. Uh, I feel like I've just been, like, trauma dumped on, and I'm just. I. I just don't know how to respond. <laughs> my brain. My brain hurts. <laughs> what do you mean? Oh, I should have gone in. What? I'm sorry. What the fuck is this? I think they're genuinely concerned about the guy. Because he hasn't made memes? Comedy. Extra net is very funny. The opponent of the player that conducted the special summon can apply this effect. Draw a card. And then activate Black Feather Orbit. I'm I'm sorry. Why are you giving me cards? Are you gonna deck me out? What's happening? <laughs> we can maxi at home. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm so confused. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What is happening? He didn't have the UR dust for the bug. Fair enough. This guy's cooking. Get him out of the kitchen, though. He's burning it. It's burning. Stop. What is happening? Please tell me it's Icarus attack. I need the set card to be an Icarus attack. Please be an Icarus attack. It'd be so funny. It'd be so funny. Oh, I really wanted the Dark Honest. I really wanted Dark Honest there. It would have been so unbelievably funny. Alright, I'm gonna rage. I'm gonna ha! I'm gonna spook him. Uh, we'll send Foxy. Please. Please. I need it. I need it to be a girl. It's no. That's not Icarus attack. <sighs> Fine. Whatever. Um, I guess we'll go with this guy. I could give them a draw, or I could not. Thanks for the plus two. Mm -hmm. Uh, Chainlink 1, Chainlink 2, oh, that's not, in the opponent's spell and trap card zone, <laughs> ah, in the spell and trap card zone specifically, good to know, 
I'm silly. Pitch flame buffalo. Draw two. Draw you can you can draw a card, that's fine. And then I guess I could like normal summon gazelle, special summon the spinny, use Helio effect to like boost a guy. Or like decrease this guy or something. I guess it'd be better to boost. And just punch him for a whole bunch of damage. I don't know if that's enough, though. <laughs> He's playing on the Leapfrog tablet. Yeah, apparently. <laughs> Bro, just scoop, please. Get me out of this game. Just hit Alt F4. Thank you all. All right, let's... It's Foxy, I guess. Wee. Yes, I would. I would love to destroy the extra Thank you. I'd rather you not draw a million cards. I'd rather not be under Maxi. Thanks. We all live in a nightmare machine. Um, I will send a Flacco. His name is Playmaker in Japan. In English? Play, play, playmaker! Uh, that just reminds me of uh, one of the funniest caster calls I've ever heard from... Uh, oh, I forget what it was. It was in, um, it was in League of Legends. There's a, play, there's a player called Showmaker. And one of the Korean casters was like, Playmaker! Or, play showmaker playmaker or something like that it's so funny i should pull it up i should pull up the clip it's it's so good uh can i go summer wolf here i can but it's like a really weird spot so we'll go like this Just go get a better hamster. Here you go. This guy clearly has time. Yeah, apparently. Let's send back this guy. Uh, we'll go... I could go a Sesco Talker here. Um, let's go Baylinx. With you. I'm just gonna BM this guy, because it's funny. Um, oh, Access Code Talker actually doesn't do it. I'm just, I'm just a silly little goober. I'm a goofy goober. Yeah. I still don't have to. Put him back in hand. Put that shit back in your hand. Alright, we'll just use Sanctuary effect. Make big. Make big. Helio. Helio effect. Target. Uh, who has the largest stat? It's sadly you. Yeah, now we have damage. We have like barely enough. I'm 400 over. Let's go. Shinshin, is that you? No. <clears throat> Flame procession. Let me let me pull up the clip. It is. Very funny. Um, okay. This is their only chance. Oh, it is. It is. It is. It is. Okay. Cool. So this guy's here, but an elder. Oh, showmaker! Oh, 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 oh. winnable. Showmaker, playmaking maker. 
Hold on, let me, let me play that again. Let me turn it up, because that's kind of quiet. Show maker, play making maker. That's what that guy's name reminded me of. <laughs> oh, it's so funny. I love that clip. <laughs> oh. Best English speaking Korean. Absolutely. True. <gasps> You're letting me go first. How kind of you. <clears throat> oh? Watch me get maxied. Activate it. Activate the bug. That's a bug! Um. I'm gonna start with normal summon foxy tempai dragon player true oh 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 i'll take it that's a pretty good one that's a pretty good one Add from deck to hand. It's so weird that Gazelle works this way. Activate Gazelle. Gazelle, ascend to grave the... Uh, could send Jack Jaguar here? Do I need to? No. Alright. We'll send Rage. That's crazy. We'll go spinny here. I'm gonna get nibbed, aren't I? How many summons is this? This is three. So this one will be four. And then the fifth one will be off the Mirage Stallio. And there's like nothing I can do about that. Summon you. No nib? Crazy. That's crazy. And now I get nib and I cry. No way. No way. Uh, let's go. These two. Into this guy. Into no effect of Mirage Shellio. I could have bounced, I guess, Foxy. Why would I do that? Good question. Um, because it's funny. Effect. Bounce back gazelle. Let's go into Sunlit Wolf number two, Electric Boogaloo. Any leaks for new decks slash support? Yeah, we talked about them earlier. You can just, like, scroll back in the stream and check them out. We know we're getting Unchained, well, we think we're getting Unchained, new, uh, the Labyrinth Arius and, um, Battling Boxer. Uh, let's go for this guy. I have a gut feeling about your opponent's hand. Yeah. Yeah. Bring back this guy over here. To be fair, we are in gold. So there is a chance I don't get Kaiju. It's not a very good chance, but there is that chance. Yeah. Oh. There, there's always that chance. Why did I not put this here? Or here? Why am I... I have... I'm stupid. <laughs> and then I make Zelantis. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We can pitch Falco, special summon Gazelle, and then we're fine. We also have Maxi. Like, we're okay. I'm gonna fire the Maxi now. New Kaiju, but Lava Golem? Uh, I can deal with the Lava Golem. That's fine. Cold Bye. It resolves. Whoa. Lava Golem, right? Thousand percent. It's Resonator! Nah! Okay. 
we're fine. Yup. Yup. Yeah, that's fine. That guy can hit the field there. Yeah, mm-hmm. Normal summon. Yeah. Yeah, you know what? That's fine. Oh, sorry, that's a, that's a special. I always forget that that's an, that it, a special. You just... You just... On the field. That's great. Bro's about to make a Reddit post. Man, this game's so dumb. Maxi. Right? That's how that post normally goes. Red Rising Dargan. Um. What if you didn't do that? What are your thoughts on that? <clears throat> ah, re yeah, add a resonator. Sure, sure. Of course. <laughs> Why did we add crimson? No. Yeah? Yeah. Alright, we'll go Promethean here. It's funny. I'll pop with this guy. Yo. Okay. I don't think you understand how much I don't want you to play the game. Now there are two of them. End of main? Sure. End phase. He didn't even go to battle. No! Come back here! I'm not done with you! Why did we go second? Ah, because we don't know how our own deck works. 14 cards in the extra. All synchros. I love this game. I love this game. No, Ash doesn't need it. He's just better. did really want that extra card. Synchroholics. <laughs> Why is it that when I go second I always draw Sanctuary? No, it's Sword Soul. Admo yay. Reveal Long Wand. Come on. Come on, I know you have it. Reveal the Long One. Uh, they're not revealing it to me. I know they have it in hand. You can't hide this from me. You can't hide it. Activate the long one. <gasps> yes, chat! We can absolutely mollywop them. By giving them a big token, and then they go Vashada, and then they bounce my Nibiru back to hand. Bro's gonna learn it the hard way. True. I'm gonna get Max Seed, aren't I? Yeah, add Long On. Activate Long Drawn. Long Drawn. Yeah, no. Here's a rock. Maxi? Alright, that's pretty good. I mean, that kind of does it. It kind of helps them. They've already normal though. They get to grab a Shunna. Here's a token. 
Wee. Ashuna. I mean, what do they get off of this? They could go like... Do they play 12? Maybe. Here comes Monk. Special summon Ashuna. Or not Ashuna. Uh, at heart. I guess they could still get back the Chi Shao, right? They go into um, Shaman. Shaman discard a card, bring back Chi Shao, and then they like still have Chi Shao. Too bad Chi Shao like doesn't do anything here. What the? F or we could do that. That's also an option. That. Yeah. 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 For sure. Yep. There's the roach. <laughs> Bro said, don't worry. I'll kill you in five summons. Trust. It up. I didn't. I. I didn't even play around draw. Are they gonna draw me? No. Okay. <laughs> I. No. Bruh. Bruh. Oh wow. That. Uh. Yeah. 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 Okay. Oh, we're playing Ringo Worm too. Wait, hold on. What is this card? I hate you, Vsauce and Ritara. I do not like you. This guy just wanted nib twice. He just he just likes the token. He's like, you know what? Give me that delicious token. Peak for in gameplay. True. Alright, I gotta go to the bathroom. I'll be right back. I'll be back.
Okay. <clears throat> Could have at least ended on a Chi Shao and a Chen Yi Berserker. Could he have? How's up? Chi Shao, yes. I don't know how you're making a Chen Yi Berserker. Oh, oh. Oh, that. That Berserker. I was thinking Draco Berserker of the Chen Yi. Not the Link Monster, but the actual, like. A, uh, synchro? It's like a banish? Oh, this you are talking about, that guy, which would be crazy. Is it possible to play Binded with 60 cards or even less? Yes. You can play it from anywhere between 60 and 40. It's basically up to you. Maybe look at him again. This hand's pretty good. What are we playing? Oh, I don't like this. Oh, I don't like this. Oh, I don't like this. Yeah. We gonna synchro summon? Cool. I don't think Nib does anything here. Tragically. Imagine they use the effects to special summon. Are they using that effect first? Okay. Sure. Do we have another four in hand to special? No. We are just making Crystal Wing. Okay. Okay. I love synchroing from the hand. It's so cool. Cool. That is such a tragic draw. You gonna mech about this? If you mech about this, I do I do lose. Okay, cool. Wow, what a fun and engaging duel. I'm so glad they gave Synchro Monsters a way to synchro summon from hand. That seemed like a great idea. This hand actually does something. That's nice. Never mind. Oh, I have terrible luck when it comes to drawing actual playable hands. I need to play more hands, traps? I don't want to play more hand traps. I feel like I play too many hands. As soon as I add like one more hand trap, I'm immediately going to not be able to play the game. Because like every single one of my hands is just going to be like all non-starters. 
guarantee it. Let's pitch Jack Jaguar, I guess. That makes the most sense here. Ash? No, they have the Roach. Alright, we'll add Flame Buffer Loaf here then, because I know that they have the Roach. Little summon spinny here. Please maxi me. Please activate the roach. It'd be so funny, dude. It was imperm. Called by? Are we just better? Yeah, dude. Damn. I wish I could be that good. Wow, that's crazy. Normal summon snake eye ash. Do it. I fucking dare you. Oh, it's so much worse. It's either Math Mech or it's um, uh, Axo. Either way, this is like the worst duel I've ever seen in my life. It's probably Math Mech. What in the hell is this? Never mind. It's something so much worse. I know Last Garden Hand is Maxi. Are you just gonna OTK me? Are you just gonna be boring and OTK me? Wait, no, because they went for Utopia, not Utopia Double. Unless they hard drew the Utopia Double? What are we, what are we doing? There's no, it's not a bot. It literally could not have been a bot. Skull Meister. Bro is just playing hand traps. And said, I'll just see two fours. Trust. Target rank nine or lower. I hate this card already. Utopia Xe Monster you control. Special summon rank ten or higher. Utopia or Utopic Xe Monster from your extra deck. Whatever. Gee, I wonder what we're summoning. Whoa, is that. It's just the uh, Prime Dragon? No, not Prime Dragon. What is this? Oh, it is Utopia Devil. Cool. Whatever, dude. Yeah, just have three hand drops full combo. Be playing in gold, it's so very awful.
bro didn't even do it in the right order. If he summons Winda, I do lose the game. He simply won't summon Winda. Trust. Or I'll draw Imperm. Also trust. He's gonna make. He, he's gonna make Winda. Even though I actually think Winda here is not the correct play, I think you still go Kid Colors. Because you can just make window on the opponent's turn. But whatever. Who am I to judge? Imperm off the top. Trust. Hmm, that's fairly decent. Gold is the worst. I actually no, it's diamond. It's still diamond is it, diamond is the worst. Gold is a close second. Holy shit, I hate it here. Oh, just play whatever, dude. Making window indestructible by specifically card effect is fine. There's still like a million outs. It's just that my deck doesn't have one. I just need my opponent to not, like, absolutely draw godlike. Which, like, every single one of my opponents has done. They've either milled or drawn godlike. Or I could draw, like, one of my many, many hand traps and not immediately die. And then I fucking open my mouth and it's... <sighs> this game hates me. You're kidding me. Yeah, sure. Yeah. All right, it's time to draw cards. That's right. That's what we're 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 gonna draw some cards. <sighs> I guess I should play more hand traps. Just play more hand traps. Why play the game when you could just not let your opponent play the game? It's that simple.
Yep. Yep. Why would we not have activated the effect of Purple Night Ball? What the hell? Maxi. Nope. We'll go Baylinx. We'll go Buffer Low. Called by? Gazelle, draw two. Uh, let's go assign it mining. Pitch Foxy. Cool. Great, yeah, awesome. 10 out of 10. Incredible gameplay. Foxy Gazelle Spinny is pretty good. <sighs> yeah. Roach. No Roach. Or they just haven't activated it yet, and there is a Roach, and I lose. And I'm sad. Let's go! You'll love to see it. No droll either? What is this backwards world? No shot, that's what's happening. Uh, let's go spinny. This guy. Go for Jack Jaguar. Go for this guy. We can summon Mirror here, which is very nice. Uh, let's go Circle. Add mirror mirror effect trigger sunlight wolf add back gazelle uh, let's go for effect of sanctuary Link you off. For Sunlight Wolf. No effect. Effect of Sunlight Wolf. Target Roar. <clears> hmm. <throat> okay, we'll put back the uh, second Sunlight Wolf. My opponent's disconnecting. I've played for too long. They don't like it here anymore. Uh, we could go Promethean here. With these three. Which allows me to keep this guy. Which is pretty sick. Just fought a solo player. They really have no outs to Borland, huh? Uh, access code. Do I like mana? No, not in the slightest. I hate decks like that. Set one, set two, 
pass. It'd be really nice if we had circle, but it's all good. Thinking? In a card game? Die. How did I know it was going to be a Harpy's Feather Duster? How did I know? I was like, it's good. Actually, I thought it was going to be Lightning Storm. But, yeah, of course. Why would it not be the one of? Can we ban Harpy's Feather Duster again, please? I hate that card. I don't think anyone likes that card. Sure. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Yeah, it does. You just walk into it. But you have to bait out the negate, yes, but you just you just walk into it. It's like the only other out, right? <clears throat> That's actually how that works. That's comedy. Oh, shit. It's only Prometheum Princess? Oh, tragic. Can't be destroyed by that one. Are you sure? We'll add Foxy. Swarm Portal Lens could be destroyed by battle. The thing with Salad, though, is that you're not supposed to ever even allow them to get to Boral End. If they get to Boral End, that's where the issue arises. And that's the case with Salad against basically every fucking deck. There's always something like that. Don't put this back into my grave. Great, my crap. I don't give a shit. This guy can't be destroyed, can he? Target, not this turn. Is this a quick effect? No. Alright, I'll take mid. Er, gazelle. Are we killing? We can still walk over it. Oh, never mind. I lied. Baguska? Yeah, I don't know. Just attack it a whole bunch. Imperm. I don't play Unicorn. Not on this list. I do have a way of killing it, though. Which is a very, very funny way. Oh, I could spin it with Mirage Dahlia. Yeah. Do you have Nib? How many summons is this? One, two. Three. Four. I think off is five. I know that they don't have a Nib in hand, though. What do you have? Question.
What is happening? Does it, like, affect me there? Do I activate the effect of the Mirage Shalio is the question. I know it's I know it's not Nib. So yeah, I guess. Not like C. So like It's gotta be like effect favor, right? So, what do I want to send here? Um, since we already have Falco. Oh, it could be Honest Neos. You're right. Um, I guess we could send, like, Foxy. I'll just send Spinny. Spinny makes sense. Unicorn is getting limited, and what else? What the fuck are you talking about? Could go Baguska here, which would allow me to do nothing, because it's only activated effects, and this is an inherent effect. Um... Yeah, we'll go these three. For Heatleo... Go Mirage, Stalio, Spin. Does it bounce? It bounces, right? Yeah. Add back Roar. Okay. Can't go access code because we're locked there. So we'll go for this guy. We banished Amblo as well. I guess Amblo actually is smaller than Promethean here. So that doesn't really do anything. It's close, but it's no cigar. Nice, nice, honest Neos in hand. Bro, please, just surrender. Stop wasting my time. Or when? I don't know. Hopefully soon. Bro, it's very late. I would imagine the band this is gonna come out in like April. Instead of Baguska. 
They made me go first again. When does the lab support? Wait, when does the new lab? What's the new lab support again? It's uh, Arius, which is basically Ku Clock 2.0. Hooray! Hooray! Yeah, basically play a turn zero, similar to the furnitures. They're not even playing the correct artwork for Ash Blossom. Man, this player is terrible. At least play the correct artwork. Do I think Tier is worth making with the new pack? Uh, Tier Element is one of the most fun decks to play ever. So, yeah. Wholeheartedly. Go for it. Um... I'm gonna send Jack Jack Ward here. And I'm gonna go Splash Mage. I wanna draw cards here. Most new players have the new artwork. Do you think this is a new player? I'm not doubting you, but I'm doubting you. Uh let's go spinny. Grab myself some target protection. These two. Bro's making me go second. Of course, this player is, you know, anti meta, degenerate, you know, Rarin Act Man type Yu Gi Oh player. We're just like, um, actually. The second name, but that'll get him trust. Golem. If you like the Vsauce lore, um, Tier Limit's pretty good. Go oh, Dark Leader. Bro, my board doesn't do anything, but okay. It's motherfucking Pudica. It's going second trap trick? And go off into Sarah. Sure, sure. Imagine Dark Ruler to draw one effect. Imagine the Dark Ruler. Imagine Dark Ruler on uh, nothing, because I've already used the fucking effect. <laughs> Dianea, Dianea, target, special. Is this so that you can banish with Pudica's effect? You do you, boo. Sounds like going second lab, but worse in all metrics. True. Watch them banish the heat soul. Love blind going second gold. They really only want extra cardboard. Yep. <laughs> no. 
No! Shot! Probably could have killed you otherwise. Yeah. Besides the Dark Ruler? I mean, could he? Did he set Holotea? He did. The last card in hand has to be, like, a trap. Then maybe he could have killed me. He could go, like, he could go search Arachnocampa. No, wait. No, yeah, I don't, I don't think there's a way he kills me. Ignoring Nib, ignoring everything, like, how does he deal with an access code talker? And, like, anything else. Because he goes ping here. And then I just, I just, I just nib his ass. He vanished the nib token from the field spell? Yeah, and? Yeah, that's great. He can do that. That's a thing that he can do, sure. Question, what does it accomplish? Even without Maxi, without Nib. I, this deck doesn't have a way to kill me through two monsters. Even if he can target them. Especially if he can't. He goes, what, Adipus? Which is, like, big. He can't go for Reflesia. Why the fuck would he go for Reflesia? He's under Maxi. Banish summon Dianea, Dianea set Gravedigger? Nope, okay. Oh, separate thing, not for OTK. Okay, that makes more sense. He would have to be smart and go for Reflesia. Even if he does that, like, what does it accomplish? Fuck all. What are you targeting? The hell are you targeting? Target Pudka, please. For the love of all that is holy, please target Pudka. You guys have a nib exactly, otherwise, yes, go for ping. Well, that's. Yeah, you kind of can't play around. What did what the fuck did we target? We targeted Dianea. Okay, I'm gonna go like this. Um, I'm gonna target Sarah. If you're under Max C there, I think you still just have to go ping. Little bro didn't lead his field spell. Yeah, clearly. That, that, I will say, is a mistake. Everything else, I do think you go... I think you go ping there. <laughs> Normal summon didn't go psycho, bro. Yeah, I'd love to special summon my heat soul. That sounds like a great idea. What the fuck? Let me draw more cards. Sign of money. Pitch. Add gazelle. I drew the field spell, by the way. Tried it. Phalanx. Buffer low. Pitch. Spinny. Draw two. Incredible. Do continuous spell not count as set cards? If they are face up, no. They do not count as set cards because they are not set. Set cards are cards that are face down, specifically. Add me here. Yep. Alright, so my opponent under Maxi basically doesn't get to do anything. But let's say 
they didn't have maxi. Yes, you go Rafflesia. If I wasn't, if they weren't under maxi, you go Rafflesia. If they are under maxi, no shot, you go Rafflesia. You have to go ping. You have to get as much advantage as you can, right? You go ping to try and stack on the additional monsters and actually get the whole spiel going. Although, genuinely, if you're in that situation, they could have. I, I, the best play is go normal summon Pudica. Get max seed, grab garden, activate garden, link off into Sarah. I think you do probably go Dianea, normal summon there, bring back Pudica, Pudica, banish. I would probably banish the transcode. But honestly, like, no, that doesn't do anything. I think you just go Sarah, set Gravedigger, pray. Because, like, you can't really do anything. But they also chose to go second, which is. probably one of the worst decisions for this deck to ever do so they were already off to a terrible start what was the trap next to called by was it typhoon if you went with that fleasia you would have heard of time against floodgate trap hole then whatever he was doing a singular floodgate trap hole doesn't do anything to me Like, yes, maybe, if not under Maxi, maybe that's the correct play. But he was. He was under Maxi. So at that point, throw conventional logic out the window, because that don't make any sense. You just... You have to do something entirely different. His name is Wukong. Bro, you're not Son Goku. You're not that guy, pal. Why is he playing Typhoon? Great question. Murkrow, I think you're also behind a bit. Nice. It's heat soul in a dream, baby. You love to see it. Fifty one. Chat's more delayed. No, that's tragic. That is like super annoying. You gonna imperm me? Do you draw imperm? No, it's called by. Oh, sure, that's fine. Drawn to maxi trust. Oh, that's actually better. Better than Maxi? Yes. I know, weird. Because my opponent definitely has the out to Maxi. Trust. Set original sinful spoils. Which one are we going for first, do you think? This one? Oh, wow, that's crazy. I'm ashing that one. I don't care about the original sin. That's whatever. I care about you getting an Omni Negate for free. Mm-hmm. Send... I... Why did we not equip the spell and then send the equip spell? Because we didn't think that far ahead. Sure? What the fuck are we doing? Please normal summon Snake Eye Ash right now. Please. I need you to do that. 
Oh, because you can pitch the, the equip spell with Jets and Kron. What fucking five are you making? It was Junk Synchron the entire time. No. That's cute, though. It's, cu it's cute. <sighs> it's not cute. I'm lying to you. It's tragic. They haven't normaled. So they can still normal summon. Adjunct converted. Sure, sure. Yep, yep, yep. Yep. Oh, they're not dead here. Because they have the DLL star stuff. Bro had Rota 2? Damn, dude. Rota 2, Electric Boogaloo. I wish I could have opened like this. Also, this guy's deck is hard to look at. <clears throat> yeah, just get a free draw. Wanted is like the one card that uh, from Snake Eyes where I'm like, damn, that card's crazy. Don't tell bro is normal someone's kind of dead. I'm I'm sure he knows. I'd be more surprised if he didn't know. What the hell did you just tribute summon? No. Is this how you make Baron? Don't tell me this is Baron Pass. It's Baron Pass, baby! Comedy. Mm hmm. Alright, I'll chain the Infirm. Well, they have, like, five cards in hand. Only two... No, we know three of the cards in hand. All of which don't do anything here. Don't have Maxi. I will cry. If you don't have Maxi, we're fine. <sighs> will. Do you negate here? Nope. Cool. Add Gazelle. You can only use one effect per turn. Tragic. Yep. I'll go effect. If I get this far, I will be surprised. What? Bro, that's wild. That's wild. That's huh. I really didn't think I'd make this part. Um Okay, we'll go Gazelle. We'll go Gazelle effect. They definitely have like Maxi. Yeah, negate. Uh cool. What do you have? Have to go Mirage Shalio here. Since we've already used Splash Mage. This resolves. Crazy. What do I have in Grave? Hmm. Okay, we'll go Jack Jaguar. You'll go for this guy. Uh, hold on. We'll go for this guy. Nah, I think he's still in it. That one negate mattered. Because now I'm fire locked. I can do a lot, but I can't, like, kill him. Sun players are not humans. You're probably correct about that. Uh, 
let's go Jack Jaguar. Put back you. I could add back the Ash Blossom, which is kind of crazy. Uh, effect. Back the Ash. <clears throat> Activate effect. I could also. Ooh, oh, hold on. Um, I might be able to OTK. No, I don't think so. I don't think there's a world in which I do that. We'll go Sunlight Wolf, number two, Electric Boogaloo. We'll go Sunlight Wolf, add back Circle. We'll go uh, Spinny. Where do you use Circle Effect? Oh, I have. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. That's okay. That's okay, I didn't need it. Uh, we'll go for this guy. Click the button, please. Thank you. Promethean Princess. We'll go Promethean. Uh, we'll bring back Helio. We'll go Helio. Oh. Shit, does that do it? Oh, I think it does. I think this is, like, just enough to kill him. Pitch will. Oh. <laughs> Someone mirror? Battle. Mirror for game, baby! Let's go! <clears throat> Imagine losing that game from my opponent's perspective. That's crazy. Imagine losing to search mirror off of drawn signet mining. That's wacky. Oh, I should play Marinthas now. He also had insane follow-up. I guess it depends on if he's playing a second junk speeder, which he probably isn't, let's be honest with ourselves. No one no one does that. If the first junk speeder gets stopped, you just die. You just fall over. Like, nope, I'm dead. Good, good game. It's Effect Valor and a Dream, baby. Effect Valor and a Dream. Get all cool. Did he die? What happened? What happened? I'm scared. <laughs> Twice, but you're okay. Face first into keyboard. <laughs> Nah. No, I'm fine. Did I disconnect? No? What? No, we're back. We're fine. That was scary. He's hacking your internet. We made it to the standby phase! What the fuck? Bro, are you there? Are you alive? Should I should should I call the police? It's branded. was my internet. Tragic. Whoa, Sarnir. Gee, I wonder what it is. Chat. You, no shot. We're just better. We're just better. It's that simple. Bro. Plus 
glasses are like thoroughly smudged. I wonder I couldn't see anything. Yep. I would have chain linked it the other way, but it's up to you, I guess. Because I feel like the Magnemut search is much more important than the draw one. Regained Lubellion Magna. Yep. Imagine drawing that well. Could not be me. Holy shit, your hand is insane, dude. You're just better. Three out of four stun players in a row. Come on. It's because it was popular in the uh, Duelist Cup. It always happens. It always happens. Right after the Duelist Cup, people will play stun because they see it, like, actually as a good deck. Right? Because it did well in the Duelist Cup. So they're like, oh, I'm going to play stun. And then they realize that it's not good. And then they're like, what the fuck? What the? Huh? 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 Yeah, um, for sure. Yeah. I guess that makes sense, given. But I still, I, st I. Uh. Put magician's rod on top. Okay, so we know Sarnir in hand, right? That's it. The other one's an unknown, in unknown. I mean, I should have guessed, but also I, I legitimately saw regained and like good cards and I was like, oh no, we're playing against a good deck. And then it, and then it pivoted and I was like, okay, never mind. I'm stupid. Called by? If last card was called by, I would have lost my mind. Make Chaos Angel. Do it. Make Chaos Angel, set a card. Set Eternal Soul. Do it. True, we are still in gold. Triple tech. Are you going to look at my hand? You're going to draw two. Thousand percent. Yeah. It was like, no shot. They just... They don't draw two here. Activate Dark Magical Circle. And then grab Eternal Soul off of it. Right? Because you're just that good. search the unsearchable card true there's yeah the dark magicians sure i guess technically both of these cards are technically unknowns but it's likely to be a sarnir and they're gonna grab grab i i would imagine they grab like baldrake here right no shot they don't oh I actually don't want to activate Circle to trigger this. That seems like a terrible idea. True. Okay. <laughs> I just won't. You gonna Maxi me? Did you draw Maxi for turn? Brother!
Alright, cool. I'll do my best to kill you. It's kill him or bust. I guess they do have base deals, so I'm probably not going to kill him, but uh, we can try. Of course I drew the called by. Saranir. We're always just clicking buttons. How much disruption can they possibly have? True, however, uh, update access code doesn't do it because they just have too many bodies. I don't actually kill them. Isn't that crazy? Mm-hmm. Isn't that so fun? circle. Yeah, that's why I can't kill them. I don't know how I win this. Because Maxi exists. If it wasn't Maxi, I easily clean this, and they can't do anything, and I win the game. And it's easy peasy, lemon squeezy, we move on. But because of this guy, I do think that I just lose the game. On the spot. And I don't see a world in which I win this. I think the play is go spinny. Can we summon Jammer and Splash Mage? That we that is the line that we would have to take if we were to get to access code. So y yes. I don't have anything at all in any capacity to do anything here. Um, cool. That's great. That's great. That's really great. Yeah. I okay, stream. <sighs> Man, Maxi's so cool, dude. Man, Maxi's so cool, dude. Man, it's so fucking sick, dude. thing that ends me here. Everything else, I am in advantage. I end up having it better for me. Except for the Roach. That's crazy. What a fun card. What a cool Yu-Gi-Oh card. Don't you guys agree? Isn't it great? Alright, I'll just set a bunch of cards. Oh, sorry. I should go to battle first. 
full walk over magician's rod. Bro, turn your shaman call now. If being banned in the TCG is the best decision they've ever made, true. Please just disconnect. You deserve it. Bro, top to deck Taya or uh, Eye of Timaeus into Maxi, which is disgusting. Right, it keeps combo decks in check, you know, like Salomon Great. The worst of the combo decks. You know. Just a raw to maxi to be, you can only activate this if you control more cards on your field? That doesn't, no. That doesn't fix it. It still auto wins you the game. Or you could just ban the card and not have it. It doesn't matter. It's a terribly designed card. That's what Nibiru is for, is to solve that issue. The same issue that everyone else has of dealing with the roach. You could, Nibiru. That one. You don't mind Maxi Unlimited? I do. Because it creates game states like this, where it's just like, cool, I guess I just lose. Yeah, Dark Magical Circle, sure. Because that's the thing. If it's not specifically Max C, I would have won this game. But because it was specifically Max C, even if it was Nibiru, right? Like, I may not have won, but I would have been at least in the game, and the game would have continued. But if it's Max C, I can't do anything. I can't do it. He has too many cards. Bro, oh, you're negated. That's, I mean, sure, whatever. I guess it sends one, which is fine. They have a Dark Magician in hand. Please disconnect. Please disconnect. You deserve it. You do not deserve to win this game. 
And you're gonna you're gonna go and post on Reddit about this. You're gonna be like, oh you're gonna make cool Jeremy me and Gigi Jack, you so fun. Look at this cool replay I had. Watch me top-tech the card that doesn't do anything. I should have given him one more summon. So that I could have added back something. You know, Xe using Sunlight Wolf to get Circle back or something like that. Of course he has another Maxi. He, he drew, like, ten cards. Oh, cool, he has an Eternal Soul, too. Yeah, now I do just lose the game. Yeah, now I do just lose the game. Wow, so fun. Can I report this? Konami! 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 Game. Thanks, game. <clears throat> Triple attack, draw two into maxi, true combo. I'm ask for your opinion. I drew the out this time. Congratulations, chat. We can play the game. Never mind. We're fine. It doesn't matter what my opponent does. If the opponent goes maxi e gamma, I'm just passing turn. I think I'll be fine if they have that. Because guaranteed driver is also in hand. Salomon Grape. We love the Salomon Grape. What the fuck is happening? Is my stream? Why is it being so derpy? Jack Jaguar. Shoot this guy. Why did I do this the way that I did? Good question. Don't know. Could not tell you. Um. Sanctuary. I didn't have circle, right? Yeah. We'll go Jack Jaguar for this guy. 
go Promethean. We'll go Promethean effect. Bring back this guy. Link for Amblo. Uh, could just keep spinning and grave. Like, there's no reason to actually summon it here. It's not doing anything. I guess it would, I, it would allow me to go into, like, Helio, which doesn't do anything. Yeah, we'll just pass here. Yeah, but that was because of... Yeah, but that was because of Dynamite OTK, not because of any other reason. No, yeah, that seems about right. <clears throat> mm -hmm. uh -huh. Of course, Brandon has a field spell. You didn't know that? Don't worry, no one, no one really did. Imprint. Dogma punishment. No, that's fine. Let's not do that. If they have Entis, it becomes really annoying, so we're just gonna not deal with that. Um, special summon Jack Jaguar. Imagine if Branded Loss was a field spell. That would actually make sense. Why isn't it a field spell? There was not an Entis in there, was there? This has to be like a brand new, like, masochist account, right? Or something along those lines? Gotta be. Technically, Brandon has multiple multiple field spells because they have like the Despian Theater, right? Which is technically one of their field spells, and then they have the New Frontier, which is really the branded one. Oh, this hand does not do anything. I cannot stress this enough. This hand doesn't do anything. Holy crap. I'm going to set one and pass. I'm going to set one and pass the turn. How do I... How do I... If that sanctuary was like anything else, my hand would be a lot better. But that is not what it is. So there you go. You're gonna play into Nib, trust. Oh, of course it's one of the worst decks to play against. Can I just say right now how much I hate Unchained and playing against Unchained? <clears throat> With the new support, it's interesting and it's fun. As of right now, it's awful. It's not fun at all to play against.
We drew the field field spell more than Gazelle. True. Set two more cards. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Set a third. Awesome. Cool. Good game. Uh, well, it was fun playing the game. I now lose because Unchained uh, now just gets to play the game for free. And I have no real way of interacting with them. Um, so, yeah. Cool. Good game. Uh, it, was, it, was, it was fun while it lasted. You know? It really, really, uh, it really was. Yeah. Of course. Of course they have Maxi in hand. Why would they not have? Why would they not have? Of course. For sure. For sure, for sure. Do you have cross out? Do you have cross out set? Did you, did you have a cross out set? That would be, that would be crazy. Well, wow, that'd be crazy. And Spinny, I, I guess. I, I guess Spinny makes the most sense here, you know. Do you have a cold mine? <clears throat> no, you're gonna activate that first? Okay. I'm gonna draw Maxi, trust. Eradicator? Yeah, sure, dude. Go, go for it. My hand is ass, dude. That was f terrible for my opponent, but sure. for me. I'll go Splash Mage. Sure. 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 Effect? I'm gonna... No? We're gonna allow me to do this? That's... Um... Sh yeah. Sh oh. Cool. Yeah, that'll... That'll... That'll do it. <clears throat> Yeah, for sure. I'll attempt to go to battle. Cool. I'll crash. No, no linking off for you. Set a card. Pass. <clears throat> I can at least pitch Falco. Too bad it sucks against this deck, but you know that's something I could do. Yep. Yep. Oh. This is just if it's destroyed, right? By battle or a card effect. You can target a fiend monster in your grave. Add it to your hand. Okay. You know what? I will send. You can have Lady. That's fine. I'm getting rid of you. <clears throat> Yes, you should be scared of the pebble. Trust. Add back one? I'm sorry, add back one? Add back Rakea? Huh? Why that one? We're not adding back Lady? To, like, get a free special? What's happening? Do I not know how to play this deck? 
Yeah, yeah, that's that's fine. You can look at my hand. I don't give a shit. <clears throat> Add gazelle. Maybe I don't know how to play this deck. That's fair. That's fair. That's fair. Do you have a maxi? That'd be crazy, dude. That'd be crazy, dude. No, That'd be wild. <clears throat> is Spinny banished? Spinny is banished. Tragic. Gazelle. Wee. Gazelle. Dump Spinny. Let's go. Uh. Trying to think of the most efficient way to KO them here. Uh. Okay, so it's probably go spinny here. Spinny. Summon. Into. Sunlight Wolf with these two. <coughs> And then go Jack Jaguar. Put back Baylinx. Summon. Effect. Add back Gazelle. Just in case. Uh, Falco. Bounce Jack Jaguar. Summon into update jammer <clears throat> into assess code into uh, chain link one chain link two target Oh, I, yeah, Falco can't use both effects per turn. I was like, oh, at least I'll have this. Uh, except I won't. I'm stupid. Uh, fun. <clears throat> Man, imagine if my opponent wasn't, uh, wasn't really bad and decided to just get rid of their, like, one monster that does something. That, that would... You overestimated the field spell and virus just too early? I... Yup. That's a good hand. Wait, hold on. I lost the coin flip. Why am I going first? What's happening? Help? Help! Maxi, what a ninety-four! Sorry. <clears throat> ninety-four. Ninety-four. Oh wow, that's 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 crazy, dude. That's wild. Okay, I have to send like spinning here. Uh, let's go like this. Let's spin. Spin to win. I love that even bad players know how good Maxi is and will still play it. Like, you'll see it in the worst lists you've ever seen, but it's still there, kicking around, and kicking your ass. And you're just like, damn, dude. I wish I was that good. <clears throat> it's, uh, it's very fun. Yeah, let's do it fun. Out comes Bailinx. Bailinx effect. For the field spell. Yes. Into you. Into the Sunlit Wolf. No Mirage Shallio, please. Thank you. Into Jack Jaguar. Back the Mirage Shallio. <coughs> They keep activating it on their turn, too. Yep. Yeah. 
If we get it to 100%, Konami will probably ban it. No, they won't. Look, we can cope all we want. But let's be honest with ourselves, okay? We, we gotta deal with it. Forever. It's not going anywhere. At any time. Ever. And that's the reality that we live in. Is it dystopian? Yes. Is it tragic? Absolutely. Anyway. <clears throat> Sorry, what was this guy's finisher rate? Oh, I wish I could check. Awesome. Thanks, game. <laughs> Imagine if you clicked card info and it told you all of those random stats that pop up. That'd be great. Called by. Harpies, Feather Duster. I'm tempted. I was tempted. I was tempted to keep the will. Uh, it's not the correct play. Of course this is like... Alright, reveal alternative. What nonsense are you playing? Also, why are you using the most disgusting people? Oh. Sure. What if I just let this guy die and then special summon Gazelle? That seems like a better idea. Caesar. Caesar Valius. How much do I want to bet they search that for. No? Hold on. Why do we search Caesar Valius? Oh, because they already had a fire. Whoa. Sure. Yeah, that's fine. Bounce back, Raisin. Yeah. For sure. Do you have an Earth? If you don't, so long, farewell. Goodbye. You're already dead. They do. They do. They do. Oh, it's Maxi. Okay. You're gonna fire the Maxi? Out of Anchor's Jolt? Sure. They're not going to fire it. Of course. Of course, of course. Why would they? How many summons is that? One, two, three. Three. Add heavy burger. <laughs> That's fine. This guy can hit the field. Thank you, Gazelle. Thank you. Of course they have a second Roach. Why would they not? Oh, that'd be crazy. Send the... We'll send Roar here. You know what? Yeah, that's fine. So they searched Heavy Border. Do we know about Heavy? That's it. Yeah, Alchemist Rock. Rock. So we know they have all three attributes. They have Raisin, Raisin, Heavy, Maxi.
magic. Special. Your Man, Vanquish Soul players just always draw incredible. You always see exactly the attributes. That is a terrible option, but okay. And then when I play Vanquish Soul, I draw nothing. Like, literal unplayable hand. Or I die to a single Ash Blossom. That guy. Right there. That one. Can't do anything, because you got rid of your Earth. Sure. You can tag out. Tag out. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. For sure, for sure. For sure. Okay, cool. Yep, there's Pantera. So now they have a pop. That's crazy, dude. Amblo. Special summon back. Yeah, boy. Heavy Borger can't draw a card. He could, he could burn. I mean, might as well, you know. Um, so we know Pantera, we know Caesar, we know Zhao Long. They can special summon the Zhao Long, they can bounce the Raisin, they can search an additional card, and then they can pop. Yeah. Am I going to be able to nib them? Oh, shit, I am. Wait, that's crazy. That's comedy, dude. Oh, no, no, no. Hold on. They need to summon one more time. Never mind. That was four. Right? Raisin. Heavy. Zhao Long. Caesar. Right? It's four. Yeah, yeah. Never mind, never mind, never mind. Sure. Continue the main phase. Yes. Cool effect. Yeah, mad love. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, why not? Just click button. It's fine. Yeah? What if I specialed the Promethean Princess? I'm not gonna, but I could. Uh, cool. Summon Gazelle. <clears throat> cool. Now I just kill him, right? Like, they're just, they just die. Uh, we'll go Gazelle. We'll go like this. Because they don't have anything, right? Pop that guy. Send to Grave the... Falco? Yeah, we'll send Falco. Because I already have a spinny, right? Uh, can I activate it this turn? Um, yeah. Okay. Well, there you go. That's the answer. Is that that one? Activate will. Activate will. Activate will. Wow. My guy... Uh... 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 Tried. 
you know, he, he uh, certainly tried. Bring back this guy. Let's go uh, Sanctuary. Two raisin border in the road, which must be nice. Yeah, must be. Too bad it uh, didn't matter. Uh, doesn't matter when you're just bad. And popping Promethean Princess for no discernible reason. Do you know what's funny? I'm pretty sure I can do this while maintaining uh, my uh, my negate. No, my negate. My uh, roar access. Uh, cool. I could also go Baguska, which is also very, very funny. Anyway. Um, let's go Splash. Splash Mage. Activate effect of Splash Mage. Bring back, I don't know, Gazelle. Doesn't really matter. Go for Access, or Transcode. Oh wait, hold on. It kind of does matter. You tried so far and got so. Yep, but in the end, it didn't matter. It didn't even matter. Tried so hard and got so far, but in the end, it doesn't even matter. Transcode. Update. Oh, the turn you activate this effect except for Cyber's Monsters. But I summoned a uh, Fiend. Okay. I was like, wait, hold on. Why can I not do the thing that I want to do? Oh, cancel, sorry. Bro tried. And failed miserably, but, you know, they tried. Look, I set up this perfect column for you for Raisin. Isn't that so cool? Too bad you'll never get to use it. At least I'm not on their circular. That would have been tragic. That guy's hand was goaded, by the way. Man, the English roll was so bad. It's 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 just tragic. It's just tragic. To be fair, update access code is kind of stupid as well, so there's that. Sun Snake Eye Ash. Holy shit, I was joking. Activate original sin. Take it! Ooh. The spinny. They definitely have a maxi. This is definitely called by. Thousand percent it's called by. The roach? The roach? 
aqui. Lakukaracha? Lakukaracha? Lakukaracha, Lakukaracha. No shot, this is infirmary. No one knows how my deck works. It's so funny. Uh, yeah. Do you not have Roach? No. Don't tell me you don't have the Roach. Don't tell me I get a free victory here because you don't have the Roach. That's criminal. That's a crime. Oh, no. Or no. Oh. Well, tragic. I would say good game, um, except it wasn't. And now he needs me. Imperm Dryden, I dare you. I double dog dare you. Uh, banish. Get him out of there. Combat. Yeah. <laughs> no. How? Do you think this is a good build and they just happened to break on like double Flomberg? Or do you think this is a terrible build? I think this is actually probably a good build. And they just happened to brick on like the two Flomberg and nothing else. It's a bad build. I was wrong. I was wrong. It's pretty bad. N never mind. It makes sense as to why they bricked. That I. Whoa. They drew the one of. The, you know, the one of Imperm. I guess, to be fair, it could have been worse. Why are you here? Ignore the rest of the fact. Ignore, ignore, ignore everything. Ignore, no, don't look at the, don't look at, don't look at any of, of this stuff. Just don't, don't look at it. Don't, shh, don't look at it. Why is this here? Let's talk about this one first. What is this accomplishing? Make Omega to make Boral load? Is that it? That must be. Is this considered a Synchro Summon? Yeah. Or maybe the other way around? How are we making this? How in the world are we making this? Is it like Flomberg? Uh. Uh. And a dream? I don't... I... How, how are we summoning this guy? Is it like... A special summon, like... Better than formula, I guess? But, I, I mean... How are we getting both of those on field? Believing in ourselves, there you go. We're not playing elf. So how are we doing that? How are we getting formula and Baron onto the field? That's my question. Jet and Nib. Oh, that's what it is. It's, I get nibbed, I summon Jet Synchron, and then I make Crimson Dragon. And then I do nothing else with it because it's just Crimson Dragon. Uh, I guess you could summon your own Nibiru, and then on... The next turn, you do the combo. At that point, you don't need it. Monster Reborn, opponent's level 11. Ah. I don't know. 
Yeah, I guess. You just want it really badly until they magically appear on the board. <laughs> Don't tell Bro about Final Sigma. <laughs> Oh, no. Oh. Like, okay, to be fair, to be honest, chat, if you do not have the UR crafting material to have, like, all of the staples, this is fine. I think, uh, genuinely, genuinely, if you don't have three Infip, if you don't have three Valor, if you don't have, you know, three Triple Tech and all of that stuff, which looks like what is happening, this is, I think, a fine list. I don't know why three Poplar... You're playing 41, this is probably the cuttable card. But at the very least, like, this seems fine. My question is mostly the extra deck. There are significantly cheaper, better options than Crimson Dragon. And even Omega? Like, why is Omega in here? But... I... Yep. 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 Yeah. Uh-huh. Where's, like, where are thou? <sighs> yeah. Yeah. See, I can defend almost every single decision, except for the fact that you're playing 41, and you're playing a whole bunch of 1-ofs that just don't need to be here. Uh, and a whole bunch of 2-ofs that don't need to be here, like 2-jet and like 2-temple and stuff like that. And, but for the most part, like, the, the main deck I can, I can forgive. This one in the extra, I can't. Just play the second Hita. You know? Play, like, Anima. You're probably not playing, you probably don't have Anima. Play, like, Nightmare Cerberus or something, you know? Play, like, anything else. Play another 10 to go into. Like, play Changing or something. Crimson's in the same box? I mean, I understand why you have it. That's not my question. My question is, why is this in here, as opposed to the myriad of other options that are way better? For, like... That are SR or below, right? Like, you could take out both of these, because you're not going to summon these. Let's be honest with ourselves. You're not going to summon these. You could take out both of them and play, like, Zeus and a level... or, or a rank 1 guy to go into play lingaribo it's an sr i mean you could it wouldn't be very good but you could you could play like the salon great heat soul stuff which i play anyway we're learning we're learning together uh don't don't play crimson dragon just don't just it doesn't do anything also two subversion and two betrayal and two of the field spell just not necessary you you could play one of those that's probably what they bricked on Crimson equals red equals fire was his logic. Fair enough. Anyway, uh, I'm going to call it quits there for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you guys did indeed enjoy it. If you did, I like it very much. I appreciate it. And if you want to check out more content like this as well as more Yu-Gi-Oh, then just be sure to subscribe. Also, real quick, I got to update you guys, and I'll make a video about this later. But I am going on vacation next week. Uh, I'm actually leaving this Friday, and I'll be back next with a week after next. So, no streams. I'll try and get videos out as best I can, uh, and keep those up to date. Um, if a ban list comes out, I'll do, like, a short about it. Um, at least if I'm on vacation, if it comes out before, I'll make a video about it, but there you go. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you guys did enjoy. And remember to always stay frosty. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.